Royal Hawaiian is absolutely the hardest course I have personally played due to a few reasons. First, the overgrowth, you can lose a golf ball quite easily and it's hard to hit out of. And then secondly, the greens are actually really, really slow. So let's hop in into my experience here at Royal Hawaiian. Uh oh, are we down, a, we almost down a sleeve? Oops! The lost ball counter on the upper left. No, I hit that like crap. Better get used to it. Oh crap, that's up that tree. All right, well, I already lost the golf ball. And as I was alluding to earlier, it's pretty easy to lose a ball in the rough. Oh, there's no actual wedge. It's an S. Oh gosh. It's an S wedge. <laughs> this is almost like a pitching wedge, this sand wedge, huh? And yes, I was using rental clubs, but let's be real here. Rental clubs aren't the reason why my score is going to be what it is. Where'd it go? Oh, okay. And just be prepared if you play here to hit the ball a little bit harder on putts than you're used to. <laughs> okay. All right, gotta get a little firmer than that. First hole. First hole. Here goes nothing. I'm just playing on the safe side. So I don't even know if what my ball's doing with these clubs. This hole, I was just hoping to stay dry. It's gotta go. Please be enough. Oh, I cleared. I cleared. I cleared. <laughs> All right, well, a little cheeky chip here. Just wanna get it on the putting green. Uh, not too bad. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't play the blues. F that. We'd be out of balls by freaking hole six. And I'm glad I was able to roll this one past the hole. Oh, wow, that broke hard. Okay, I'll take the bogey. I'll take the bogey. <laughs> Usually play a swipey fade, so. And even with rental clubs, I'm still able to hit a wipey fade. Not sure if I'm happy or sad about that. Yep. Stealth with the dent in it. <laughs> Stealth with the dent in it, yo. All right, just straight away. Just trying to get close to the green. Not even on. Close would be good. Chunked it, but if it rolls, nope, way too short. Roll on. Oh, it rolled on. I will admit, though, the views are amazing, and it's more unique than any course I've ever been on. Wow. I thought I killed that. It's just, just scary to try to line up left. So one thing to note is that they have a 3B hole configuration set up and we skip the 15th hole later on all right i almost missed the ball but hey and we're happy we're putting for birdie here not going to be too many of these chances today and at least i was able to get it past the hole all right I'll take it okay here we go just taking a five foot up there trying to get something in play here the rain started coming down pretty good but a let off after one hole it's in play got some rain coming down here comes a classic blade Oh, shoot. Oh, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Bladed it. We get lucky with the lie here, and I'm able to get it onto the green, well which is all I can ask for. And a misread putt and a misread speed leads to a very bad attempt and a very challenging second putt. Oh, wow. But we're actually able to two putt this hole after getting on in three, and know. I'll definitely take the bogey. Next. <laughs> Crappy hole to be car path only. I kind of, I see the guys up there. If I hit it up around there because the car path only be nice. Excuse the laziness. I'm on vacation. That's where I was aimed. Get kick off the hill. I'm going to be on the side hill, but I'm close to the car path. So I kind of take it. Oh, lay up towards the last palm tree. Okay, so in that I can hit like a, a, one, a 130 club. I'll be fine, right? Generally, when I play a new course, I tend to play very conservative. There we go. Boring, but yep. Downhill, not so great lie. Really short clubs compared to one length. This is gonna go really well. Here, I thought he hit a good shot, but I actually end up in the fescue just right off the green. Just give me the green. I think I'm on the green. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna? End up just chunking and praying just to get the ball out of the fescue. And we're able to get a lucky putt to fall down. Oh, yes, Ooh. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yo. Okay, just gonna go right for the center of the green. If it does anything, it does anything. Short a hole from the white tees. We're taking a fairway finder. That'll do. Boink. Right at the 150. And it really doesn't film well on camera, but there's definitely a lot of elevation change at this golf okay. course. Oh, a little short. Bump and run. The bump and run is universal. Oh, speed boosted off the hill. All right, toe to toe is probably outside toe to toe is probably what I want. And at this point in the round, I'm thinking putting is going to be more luck than skill. Wow, still. 
Jeez. Okay, yep. Now that's a thumbnail. Oh, brah. It is undeniable, but if you want crazy jungle views, this course delivers. Give it to me. Come on. Oh, I hit that. These are so strong. Oh, well, this is going to be fun. I just got to start it down the hill. Actually, if I'm long, it's not the end of the world. Here, I thought I crushed his putt. Even though it's downhill, I left it short. Oh, I mean, not bad. Give me that fade. Give me that fade. I got the twist face technology. Oops. Oh, to the left. The lost ball counter. That's dead. Continues to increase. Okay. That was not a fade. Eh. At least I can see it, right? And we're still deciding to take the smart play here and laying up. I thought I hit this pretty dang good, but ends up being just a tad short in what used to be a sand trap. Oh, shoot. Yo, this totally used to be a bunker. You can see it cut right there. That would have been And when it comes to rental clubs with an S wedge in the bag, I can only hope just to be on the green here. I'll take that. And I'm really curious, how do you guys adjust to really slow greens? Let me know. I'll take it though. I'll take it. Oops. My shot goes into the hazard because it goes a little bit too long. And it's funny because they have a drop zone in the middle of the fairway because they know people are going to lose their balls. Oh my gosh, that's too much. <laughs> we running out of golf balls. Stay. Stay. And I must say, it is weird to hit bump and runs where the run doesn't really happen. Nah, short. I had the line, but got us surrounded. I play it left edge. And nine holes in, maybe I'm starting to figure out the greens. Not sure. Ah, uh, I gave it too much. All right. Forgiveness. The most cringe campaign ever. Just like perfection. Pretty cringy. Oops. That's gone. That is gone. You're also gonna lose balls into heavily wooded areas. Go ahead. I'm gonna pin another one. So if you play here, I highly recommend you bring a dozen. There you go. Wait, this is a par five? Oh, and I hit it out. Cool. Since this is a short par five, it allows me to try to make up some ground. Dude, these are juiced to death. Please be enough. Wow. Yeah, it rolled right on. And I'm actually putting for par here. Oh, no! But the golf gods had other plans. Oops! So this is an example Same. where I thought I was safe, but the ball but I can see mine. was just eaten up. Uh oh. Let's get it up close to the green somewhere. So a drop in a fairway and two strokes it is. Mm. And we're doing another bump and run here. And we're pretty happy with the results. Take it. And I'm glad to say that I was able to save a double here. Yep. Yep. Oops. You ever pray that you magically hit a rock and it'll Shoot. bounce on the green? Hit a rock or something. Well, today was not one of those days. Uh-oh. And just like the course designers knew, there's a drop zone, so I'm taking a drop here and hitting on the green. And there's nothing quite like falling up a bad chip with a bad putt. Hit the flag. Oh my gosh. And I actually hit record twice, but I swear to you I made this putt, but take this time to like and subscribe. Oh, I did not record that. That was such a bummer. <laughs> so my iron off the tee ends up being pretty bad and beelines it Frick. straight for the cart path. I get lucky and it ends up resting on the car path and I drop right next to it. Car path. Oops! And what the fuck was that? And I squandered that luck by blading it over the green. Gone. Jeez, oh my gosh, after I got lucky break. So after not finding the ball, we're dropping and taking two strokes. And when it rains, it pours. Oh my gosh. Oh, brah. So that rock is good. And it's holes like these that remind me that sometimes it's not about the score, but more the experience that you have along the way. That was very cheesy. Oh, finally. Finally. Okay, I just got to carry this hill. And I'm just going to let these next sequence of shots just play out themselves. Oh my gosh, I'm down in the hill.
Did you see that? Oh no! Dude, what the heck? <laughs> oh, and we're back. And if you actually erase those last two shots out of your mind, I'm actually playing this hole pretty well. Wow. For bogey, actually. I actually hit a halfway decent shot after chunking it in the rough three times in a row. And it still feels unnatural to hit a putt this hard to make it go that short. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So hole 15 is shut down. 3B from earlier in the video was the replacement for this hole. But here's the fairway as well as the green. Oh, ouch. The great thing about strong lofted game improvement irons is they still go if you miss hit the ball. And another crushing putt that I thought was going to go way by that ends up being really, wow. really short. And if you check out how hard I hit this, it barely makes it to the hole. Oh. Just give it to me. Oh. So with a bad score and only a few holes left to go, we're swinging for the fences. That's as good as I can do. Oh, just short of it. And in my mid handicaps exposed video, as you can see, I'm bad at golf. Around the green, still an issue for me. Wow. Yep. Same result. Why be fade? Why be? Why is it always by hole 18 you figure out the driver? That felt really good, man. Forgiveness. And as I'm coming down the stretch, I try to reflect on what I really think about this course. Wow, that was sad. And if you're looking for a unique course with awesome jungle views, this is the ticket. Oh, eh, nee, nee. <laughs> but I will say, it is pricey for what you get, and the greens are very shaggy, and you're going to lose a lot of golf balls. So after shooting 23 over par, I can still say this is going to be a very memorable round. However, I can see why this course is so polarizing to those who want a fair challenge or for those who are paying a premium to get that ocean view, which this does not have. Let me know your thoughts about this course in the comments. But like always, hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing, and we'll see you in the next one.